we hope that you're off today and maybe sitting home and enjoying some coffee and we're going to take you on some RVs. Maybe not this early, but we'll see. Maybe, we'll yes. find out. Maybe not on the West Coast. But first of all, let us know where you're from. Say hi. And also let us know, as always, how the sound and video is. Oh, did you see this? Is this new for Thor? You see that? What? Everything's lit up in the front. Oh, I did not see that. But we went on that I yesterday. Looked, I thought you were looking at the sign. <laughs> So we're at the 2023 Maryland RV show. I almost said Tampa. <laughs> you always almost say Tampa, even for Hershey. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we came here Saturday, Sunday. Today's our last day. Saturday, super busy. Yesterday, not as much, at least in the morning when we we're here. Today, probably less, but we're here before the show opens. Obviously, there's nobody here. The show will be open in about 45 minutes. That way we can get you on some nice tours. That's too many distractions. Like yeah, nice and quiet. So, so we've been seeing a lot of cool things. We actually just finished filming a video where we're going to show you some of our favorites. Um, there's a, a nice selection here. Mm -hmm. So the show is broken down. If anybody's never been here, this is our first time here. Show is broken down into three different buildings. You have the main building, which is where we're in now. It's called the Cow Palace. Is that correct? Cow Palace, yep. And then you have the... Convention Center? Is that what it is? That I don't remember. And the, then the 4-H building. The 4-H building, which are very strict there. It's like doll, like the... Paul Bart. No, the, the size of the buildings. Oh, it's very... It's like those little, those Russian dolls that you take it's one so at. It's like, so tiny, Like yeah. this is the big one, and then the second one is the middle, and then that 4-H is real tiny. Like the RVs are pretty much, you know, pretty much touching each other. Right. So, the, yeah, that will have the smaller RVs. That Convention Center will have some bigger, some fifth wheels and... Tabs, if it's here, stuff Johnson's like that. Yet. And then the main building, which we're in now, will have the bigger fifth wheels, bigger motorhomes. Well, actually, all the motorhomes. Right. Class yep. Yep. And, uh, you know, pop-ups and some other things. A couple of things. This, is, this building itself is divided into two areas. And the one area has reception, the other not so much. So we're kind of limited to one area in here. So, But there's a lot to show here, which is good. Yeah. So let's start going on some things. But unfortunately, like where the new Mars are and the Tiffins that's where we can't go. But we did many videos on those that will be coming out yes. in the near future. So I would like to go on the good morning, Blue Ox. Good morning, Sierra everyone. Long. Good morning, everybody that's joining us. Thanks for being here. We're going to go into the Alliance section. So we, this Alliance paradigm, do you remember the floor plan of this? No, but I know it's two bedrooms. Two beds, two baths. This is pretty cool. Let's go inside. All right. So let us know how MJ sounds. We tested the mic before. She should be sounding okay when she's away from me. But yeah, yesterday somebody was saying know. they couldn't hear me. This is a little different from that Cortez camper that we yeah. saw. The little scamp. It's like uh, eight Cortez campers. <laughs> so there's the dry weight. There's the price, guys. You see your storage here. I'll quickly go around the outside. This is a large unit, very large unit. Double axles. You have your hydraulic leveling. Ladder in the rear. One slide on the passenger side, large awning, large windows. This is offered by Leo's Vacation Center in Gambrills, Maryland. Let's go inside. Start in the, uh, we'll start in the first bedroom. There it is. I love that Alliance storage. Yeah. Soft clothes. So this is your first bedroom. You've got a large closet here. With shelving, ladies, if you like shoes or guys, some guys love oh, their sneakers, right? There. You can put a lot of your clothes and uh, footwear in there. They do a lot of these, like the uh, the barn style doors. I like that. Good. Yeah. You have two entrances and exits here. And Alliance does the nice residential showers. Yeah, everything's so, large. You in know, here. yeah. So for those bigger people the weather today is supposed to be very mild yes so yep. we're, we're leaving right after this live and then we're going to head home get about three hours i'm going to wash the motorhome today because it's supposed to be like 60 degrees which I is know, crazy it's supposed to be warm so this is you know it's kind of a compact kitchen in this floor plan some of the other ones they're very large but th because you're getting the two bedrooms the two full beds two two bathrooms is it's this, a little uh, bit smaller. That's actually real tile, tile. which is nice. Cool. Roomy living inside. room. It's very what? Very large. Yeah. 
Oh, here. Big pantry. You could stack a lot of hashtag stuff. And this is three ACs. Makes sense. I would hope it's something <laughs> this big, yeah. Um, so you have a loft up there. So you have the two bedrooms, but then you have the loft as well. So Thomas, the, it's in Timonium at the Maryland State Fairgrounds. Yep. That's where the show is. And they always do the nice alliances, the nice fireplaces with the storage behind it. No carpet. No carpet. Let me turn these lights on. on. All right. So this is like the smaller of the bedrooms, right? They don't get the big closet and that kind of thing. But you have your, I'll get, let you go in there, your second full bath. How is the quality of cabinets? On Alliance, it's pretty good. It's okay. You know, yeah. we haven't seen any big issues. It's definitely nicer than a lot of the fifth wheels we've seen here. And as we always say, Look, every RV is going to have issues, but what Alliance is really good at is customer service. Right. So if there's issues, they're going to help you get it taken yep. care of. Yeah, I mean, if you want super high quality cabinets, then look into a new Horizon. But you could buy three and a half of these for the price of a new Horizon. Here you go. Large cabinets. I love the uh, very high the edging, you know, the LED lighting that goes all around. It's just a nice touch. Large appliances, large, everything's big. Mm -hmm. You fifth wheel people. Definitely need a big truck for this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We still have those days where, like, wow, we would love to have a fifth wheel. Yeah, but where would we put it? That's well, not where we are now, but like when we retire and move elsewhere. Did we take anyone in the Cortez or no? Did we do we that did uh, okay. either yesterday or the day before. And we went in the Sunray too. All right. Oh, we didn't see this. Fintech was in a different area here. The Nobos, we didn't do that. Any, we did, no we did not Nobos. Do, well, we can come back that way. Let's, you want to go on the fifth wheels? Sure. What do we got here? Dutchman. Oh, Yukon. We didn't go on this. Nope. We didn't, actually did not come down There's here, a lot I don't of think. In this area. Oh, there is. But if you want to yeah. go lower it down. Oh, they're having a team meeting here. <laughs> the secrets. Guys, they're having a team meeting, so we can't really talk. <laughs> Let's go on the Rockwood. A lot of people like Rockwoods. Yeah, the Rockwood fifth wheels. I was just one on one before. It's really nice, you know. So here's a Rockwood ultralight. Pierre said, Sis, can you put your inspector hat on and show people how on brand new units we'll have mishaps? Yeah. I I point stuff out when we see it for sure. All right, we got a video <clears> coming out on that. Now look at the large storage here. Now this is a trailer. But even the Rockwood trailers look they're, like they're fifth really wheels, nice. right? We were seeing that yesterday. What are they raising their hands for over there? Like people probably, raising their they're hands. They're probably and asking for participation, <laughs> getting them pumped. So you got your outside speakers, LED on the awning. This has uh, electronic leveling, which is nice. I like what Rockwood does with their kitchens. Now, this is the second one we've been on where they just do cool, like they. It, right they do this corner yeah, really like nice. triangular kitchen that is really cool it gives you a lot of prep space i like that a lot somebody said we're up too early i've got two meetings starting nine minutes we'll be missing out oh sorry because we're headed out today we're going live and then we're headed home yeah you can catch on we, the replay guys we weren't even going to come today actually but we had we're like we could do, get so much more done and then still get home in time so not quite Tampa crowds. Well, Joseph, this is the show's not even not open, open yet. yet. <laughs> we get here, you know, we get here before they come in, so it's nice and quiet. We get our videos Show done. Storage, real quick. Pretty good storage. What right when you come in to your left, there'll be some storage. You get your sound bar, shelf for tchotchkes. And the cabinets are nice. They're mm -hmm. they're definitely better quality. Than I know people what you've like seen it. People ones. like Rockwoods. You know. This will double as a bed also. Yeah. And you got powered, uh, you're not working right now, but the powered uh, theater seats. I'm kind of this. What? Now it's like you're at the deal where I told you about that guy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I told you. What's this okay. secret meetings that they ha they're having right now? They're asking for volunteers. Yeah, they're like raising their People hands. People are raising their hands. Matt. What goes on in those meetings, Matt? Share. Yeah, let us know what the rah rah meetings are about. <laughs> Oh, 
We got to call you, Matt, on the way back when we yes, leave. Yes, we have discussions to have. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is an interesting closet. Hardware. Look. Oh, that, does it lock it in so it doesn't open? Yeah. yeah that's nice. Right? Can you open cool? that up? Or yeah. Them inside. So there's a little touch. And then the other, they have the, the hanging. Hang yep. Yeah. I don't know how secure that is and how much weight that will take. It's on, it's there, on there pretty, pretty yeah. Good. And here's the other side of the. Maybe we that should guy's go. got a voice that really carries. Well, let's go you listen. You can hear him pretty clear. Now that Matt. Yeah, but there's music over there. Oh, oh. All right. Well, why don't you run out? Wow, that is a deep voice. Matt, yeah. is that? It's like a radio voice. Uh, your mic is on. Oh, okay, I'll come with you then. <laughs> yeah. I right, want a guys. hot mic, yeah. So it's here's like, a mini light, Forest River. A lot of Rockwoods here. Rockwood mini light has the outdoor kitchen. Because a lot of people ask us about Rockwoods. Yes, they do. I don't know if that's an eagle. We like those too. I, I went on a bunch is. of eagles with the fifth wheels. The trailers are nice. Yeah, we're going to show you Jayco Eagle trailer, which is a really nice trailer. I wonder if that guy was like a DJ, like a radio DJ. It's a bedroom, no slide on here. So this is your, your light. So you'll have minimum slides. That was like our Jayco bedroom. It always reminds me of that. Good size kitchen again. Not a fan of the color of the couch. It's a little different. It's contrasting the the cabinets yeah. and stuff. You know, a little. But you darker. have a large kitchen here. You do. So I'm saying they do they do a nice job with the space. I think. Decent shower shower miser. Uh, is that a twelve volt? You want to check? Somebody just asked that. Yes. Yeah, a lot of them are using 12 volt gas. Full. You know, this looks crooked. It probably is. See that? Do you see that? Yeah. Look at the TV. Sees that? Look at the sound bar. Huh. Yeah, it is. All right. Okay. You want to head over to the Eagle? Well, this is cool. I like that. Yeah, let's go to the Eagle. And then I think we should hit some of those Thor motor homes that they have here because those we can we can actually take people through. Yeah. Where's the Eagle? Oh, the other. Pierre see? or Pierre. Laurel? Yeah, they it. see. Well, sure. Laurel's looking at that all the time. <laughs> he knows. All right, so they have a lot of trailer here, guys. So, again, they don't have every single model of every single thing, but they have enough that you can occupy your time here for the day. Oh, yeah, for a couple of days. Yeah. Really? I think it's great. I re We're definitely coming back here next year. We, we enjoyed this show. Yeah. So the Jayco Eagle series, if nobody's ever seen them, they are, it's, it's like a fifth wheel floor plan on a trailer. On a trailer, yeah. You can't tow these with half time. They're really large. They're really heavy. Uh, but they're cheaper than the fifth wheels, and you get a lot of nice features. We do like the Jayco Eagle travel trailers. And the the, the Eagle fifth wheels are nice, too. Yep. But, yeah, this is a big puppy. Uh-huh. Large storage. Make sure you're showing the prices, too. Are you showing yep. the prices? Okay. And this, I don't even know what size this is, but this is large. Somebody wants to look this up for us, it'd be great. This is the 280RSOK. I'm saying this is probably 35 feet 32 to 35 feet outdoor kitchen and then you have an outdoor grill electronic stabling stabilizers there's the price guys show price msrp price this is warranty for full-time rv living which you rarely see that in a trailer Your bedroom so you have i just pulled the clock off the wall why did you do that Well, because i wanted to see how sturdy it was but it's on with velcro and a little hook so it comes right you can remove it for travel is that what it says no but that's there's velcro oh. here and a and a hook so i just got to get it back on the hook now a really nice bathroom guys for a travel trailer. I'm not quite sure where they're doing blue. They painted. Where's blue? They painted the cabin. It's blue. Are you sure that's not the lighting? No, it's blue. Okay. I'm not colorblind yet. That's odd because nothing else in here is blue. Like they're trying to make it residential. You know, you have like that. Yeah, but you would think there would wall. be a trend of some kind. Like that's it. There's just blue cabinets in the bathroom. It is a nice bathroom though. And that's it. What does full-time living imply? All right, Pierre's trying to start trouble. 
It implies that they put a, a fancy sticker and make you feel good. <laughs> That's what it implies. <laughs> you like that, Pierre? Now look at how this opens up inside. Oh, guys, we're talking. We're going on RVs here, right? We're looking at all things that might be wrong, things that are good. You didn't watch our video the other night, which was two nights ago, and we talk about. We, I think it was like beware seven mm -hmm. things you need to look for. Go watch that because Blue Ox on the Run, who's in our live stream right now, they are full time RV inspectors, and they their channel is so unique. They're going to take you on every inspection they do, mm -hmm. almost. And point out what you need to be looking for. So it, this, the video we did is a little synopsis of that. It's really good info. So go check them out and subscribe to them. A lot of storage space. And they all say this, pull to open liquid chalkboard so you can. Yeah, open it up. This is really nice. I know. Hey, our first is a Jayco. That it wasn't was, this one, though. No, I'm we saying. We might have kept this one. But we have a, yeah, yeah. I don't like the colors in here. It, you have the contrasting furniture to the cabinets. And I, I, not a big Even fan. Even the but... paneling on the refrigerator, yep. it's what Looks... you see in much higher. What model was this? 280 something. It's right on yeah, let me see. the door there. You're going to make me go steps here. Oh, it is 280 RS OK. He's going to look up the, the length for us. Yeah. And the weights. Thank you, Chris. And even on the island here, again, you know, you're getting. All this fit, you see all the space underneath, you got the double sink. So a lot of fifth wheel feel on this. Yeah. Is that four burner, three burner? It's much lar larger living room than what we have. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that's what you do with a motor home, right? You get less space. <laughs> all right. You want to head over to- It looks to... like it's pixelating a little bit. Um, Is it? It was when we were on there. Guys, let us know how the uh well, we're kind of deep the reception into the building is. Here. Could be your it your could be also. just me, yeah. Let's hover to buy like the um the motor homes, so at least the ones that we can now cover. it looks better because we were on Yeah, it could be. Oh, we gotta move, babe. There's there's music here. Yeah. Move, move. It, it might not pick up on the mics. Like we keep talking, maybe it won't. We keep talking. Because that's Adele playing and we don't <laughs> So let us continue. Oh, no, good. We still hear you just fine. Perfect. Okay, good. Yeah. It's your phone. Yeah. Well, no, I think when we were on there, it was getting a little little fuzzy. All right, Chris, so 28 and a half feet. Yeah, it's a it's a big boy. So that's going to be the box. I would imagine the overall length is going to be much bigger. All right, it was Probably buffering a slow feet. video, but now I see. I think we were on there. So um, somebody said for fifth wheels, we were going to go to the, where are the Jayco fifth wheels? They're all in the and, back, but we had, oh, we can't, we can't go, go in over there. there. Well, here, we did Alliance. Uh, we have some coach. Wheels? I'm sorry, we have some cougars here. Okay, yeah. We do that. This is again Leo's morning. Story. So there's the cougar half ton. Then we got some motorhomes on our left here, also. These are kind of small. You know, these that we looked at They're were a little smaller. Yeah. Yep. But you you get a lot in your little little package. So here's Leo's vacation. No games. No gimmicks. Not they all say that. They do, but these, you know, these guys seem pretty cool. Matt was was happy there. Double axle on this, and then the rear you have your hydraulic leveling. The front is just going to be manual. Triple steps to get in. Here's the back. There's no cap. It's just the wall. This is the 23 MLS. And here's what you see. Okay. Nice kitchen. Very large kitchen. Yep. We got comfy theater seats. These are powered. Are they heated? I can't. I think they're heated as well. This will probably turn into a bed. I would imagine, yes. Yes. Then two steps to head up to the bathroom and the bedroom. The shower is nice. You have a, a seat in there. Warm in here, is it? Yeah. Probably because it's warmer outside. Don't fall down the stairs. That's my job. <laughs> okay. Nice carpeted bedroom. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> you got a lot oh, of. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this slide, but it's not looking good. <laughs> I don't know what anybody's seeing this thing. 
Let me see. Uh, inspectors, what would you say about that? I can't even see. I don't have my glasses on. Hang on. Glass. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Let's switch. It doesn't seem like it's flush. No, and the screws are not, like, they're not even in. You see the the screws are going to, they look like they're, um, you see that? You see yeah. the screws? This, this one's the same. They're like in sideways. Huh. Interesting. All right. It's very tight up there for two people. Let's go on some of the motorhomes if you want. Yes, Wayne. This Beckley's is where Paul used to be. No longer, though. Now he's selling homes. Here's a popular motorhome, the Miramar. Got a huge slot on it. There are Brinkleys, but they are in the dead zone, unfortunately. Yes. I do want to show the open range. I went on that before. And they bring that to the show. Mike, you wouldn't believe some of this stuff. We, can <laughs> so we have a video coming out probably in the next two weeks of something that's just going to blow people's minds. <laughs> so here's the Thor Miramar. This is the 35.2. There's the show price. And the MSRP. I'm gonna quickly show you one of the bays here. Full body paint. And you got kind of your quasi pass through. Let's just go inside real quick. Frameless windows, awning, LED lights. So this is a gas motor home on the Ford F53 V8 motor. Do have a bunk overhead. You know what's crazy is that I'm looking at like the fit and finish on. I want you to look it at these very similar. These screw, no, no, no. Just look at how this is done. How this compares to the one of the video that we I, did. I know it's, it's crazy. a little no. It's it's better. No. <laughs> oh God. So again, we're gonna keep you in suspense. You gotta watch for that video, <clears throat> and then you'll know when it comes out. Um. There's no carpet in here. No. Nice. So we were talking with um, RV Blogger. They own a a Thor gas. They're very yep. happy with it. Yeah, the Challenger. Yep. Yeah. yeah, they've had you know your typical issues or whatever. But uh, okay, let's check out the bathroom. Good sized bathroom. TV on the televator. Yeah, prices are definitely the MSRPs are not dropping, but the discounts are definitely increasing. And, it, and the yes. MSRPs are not going up as rapidly. Right. Oh, let me, we can go in there. So decent sized shower. And here's your bathroom here. This is a We're starting to pick one bath again. coach. All right, let's just go quickly in and This out. is a, you have laundry, uh, washer dryer prep in here. I'll meet you outside. Okay. Yeah, guys, the service yesterday was phenomenal. Now it just. Kind of fixed itself and it comes and goes and this is prep for washer dryer the rest of the bedroom All good right. morning jerry with the big town of old north carolina why'd you do that with an accent because it's south that's my <laughs> southern accent I wonder if when we move south, if we're going to start getting an accent. I don't know, because we picked up people really quickly that we talked to that weren't from the south. That Remember is Remember that true. guy in Alabama? I'm like, you're not from around here. <laughs> He's like, you're no, from, I'm from Long Island. From New York. <laughs> Slow video. Yeah, yep. Again, the service uh, reception here, not great. So we're going to try to stick in areas that it is good. We're surprised we can even we can even get service. Yeah, areas. we didn't think this building was going to allow that. Um how about a, uh, how's that Gulfstream over there, right? Where's that? The Conquest here. Couple C's. Yeah. Right, here's a. How's the video now, guys? Is it any better? It looks it on my be end. I'm watching now. it on my phone and it seems a little bit better. Gulfstream Conquest. It's like when we get in deep into the RVs. Well, we're in a steel and concrete building and then you're going into more aluminum fiber. You know what I mean? It's like we're, we're getting double bagged. This is the 61, sorry, 63111C. This is a bunkhouse. Morning. 
<coughs> so this is Sorry, guys, the for the cough. The bunkhouse. There's your outside storage. And let's go inside. You got a lot of, so you have bunks. You have a bunk in above the cab with a ton of cabinets back there, too. So you could sleep a lot of people on here. This breaks down to a bed. You're, Again, watch your hair on the mic. Oh. I don't know what's happening. But the thing is, you have all this sleeping. So you have two, four, you know, five, maybe six, seven. This, actually, this probably comes up. You have one bathroom. That's what I always say about these, the RVs that have tons of sleeping space. But you have one bathroom. So I have a question for Matt if he's still in here. I don't know if he is or he isn't. I want to know what is the inventory on lions that Leo's has and how many lions are stolen during these. I don't think you can walk out with that that easy. It's pretty big. I, I'm, I bet you they have shrinkage on lions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So these bunks. Oh, these are the teddy bear bunks that we had in our trailer. Those are really comfortable. Very comfortable. These are smaller, though, so these would be for smaller kids. Um, but they're these... so hot. Is there a vent in there? No, no, no. But this is, th these don't, ours were set back. These are out. You Those know what I mean? In, in an oven. These won't, these will be fine. And you have windows there. Those were like a sauna, but they were so, so comfortable. Bad. I remember, guys, we went on a trip our first, like, two months of RVing on our travel trailer. And I remember it was pouring out. Do you remember at Travel Brook? It was mm. pouring. And I went into the bunk and took probably the best nap I think I've ever taken in my life. Those things are so comfortable. It was like a little cave. It was. Okay. Decent sized bathroom. And you have a, a, you know, a not curtain. Guys, as I'm getting older, words like slip out of my mind. It's like a cheap sliding. A door. divider. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a plastic curtain. And you have another one here. So the bunk room, basically you can cut the bunk room off to be completely separated from the rest. This is large for a C. A lot of space in here. Y yes. Uh, we probably do oh. one more. Thank you. We will have a safe trip back home. Yes. Let's do one more. Let's see what we're going to finish with. What's around? Let's do a let's do a big a big puppy. Oh, we didn't go on the open range. We were gonna go on there. Um, let's see. I'm gonna quickly show the Cortez. I'm just gonna show yeah. them really. We did quick. show that one live stream, but you guys wanna see this inside? It's all fiberglass, one piece. Kind of cool inside. Super light, 17 footer. There's the weight. Price. You want to go on the Challenger? Sure. I went in there this morning. It's a bunkhouse. All right. Last one for today, guys. Throw a Challenger. And we got to hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. I'm showing my age by yeah. singing that song. I guess Matt's not here anymore. No, he left. He just made his little appearance. And just show you some of the bays here. So this is their top gasser. You know, they have the outlaw, which is a toy hauler. And here is the price, guys. This is the Challenger 37DS show. MSRP. You're in the 22 and a halfs on here. Hang on. The radio's on. Just lower the volume. Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh... I do like how they do the front. has the gasket on the windshield. It's not that automotive bonded. How do you like this model on your Challenger? Somebody left in the comments. How has, how has it been for you? We're good? Yes. Let's go inside. So I this like nice. it. Yeah, I like the layout. You've got your room for your table. Three cup holders there. But see, I like when I like when they do this. For the person working like arts the one that we have on our base star it's the desk that comes out and fold it's very shaky this is this is solid so i like that especially for work if you're on you know new jersey roads and you're trying to use the computer it's very difficult so yes i like this uh you got your drop down bunk yep. but it's a large bunk too and this breaks down into a bed also yep you got a sound bar. TV. You can sleep a lot of people in here. Yep. 
two, maybe four, <laughs> so six, eight. People could pop out their feet on the big party. Denny says he loves his challenger. He has an 11. Has been good. Very good. Excellent. It's good to hear. LG fridge. I like when they do the extension on the counter, especially on the smaller kitchens, so you get that extra space. It's good. And a large residential fridge, yeah. LG. That new uh, fridge smell. Good luck trying to get that out of a door if it breaks. Get, yeah. Get the large one. So these, this would be very hot like that. <laughs> Is there any venting? No, they're like sealed in. No, I don't even have the hands to. There we go. It's a nice strong magnet. Very. And you have a little place for a ladder to get up to the top one. Tablet holder. Very cool. USB. Plenty of outlets, USBs. If you don't want those, you have, it's a closet. You know, you have, um, and then you have, <clears throat> excuse me, people can use it as, you know, for dog crates and things like that. Little things like fit and finish, you know, here, just, I'll just show you. Just little things that, see, you know, you see that? Yeah. You know, it's just not finished off and stuff like that. No big deal. Somebody asked if they could lock their kids in here. I actually think you can, probably. Yeah, and then. Close the doors. I just wonder if they lock. Do those things turn? And then, and then yeah, you, you can, can like, them in. yeah. Put it, put it, I just want to say, see if you can. No, that doesn't, no, that it doesn't, doesn't stretch, so, okay. but you could attach, you could put a bungee or something. <laughs> <laughs> Go horrible. into your room. <laughs> and suffocate. No, I mean, but you have big windows there, so. <laughs> the kids will be screaming out the window. <laughs> There's your bathroom. One piece fiberglass, which is really nice. We have good service here, so that's good. That's good. There's your water heater. Set the temperature. Control for that water heater. Yeah, this is nice. So there's a lot of, you know, good things on here. But you have laundry prep here. You can get a combo washer dryer if you want. Um, but if not, you have extra hanging space. Like, for example, like, you know, you feel this door. And again, it's probably just some adjustment. But she, this is new. You know, can you, you got to feel this. It's very difficult to open yeah. this drawer. So just little things like that because, again, those are like aesthetic things. But that an inspector will find for you and just point out that need to be fixed. Okay. I like There's your, like your table. Yeah. That's a, that's a cool spot for it. And that under the bed. No. Your light is on, by the way. Is it? There's some, oh, no, it's no. your screen, sir. It's yeah. shining on your sweater. Oh, okay. And then you got a large cabinet here. with a. That's a very well lit. And this has been PDI, yes. Yes, PDI. Well, you've been charged for the PDI. We don't really right. know if it's been PDI. It's been PDI'd. Okay. So wait, you have but oh, many two of, full baths in here. There was a, yeah. Wow, okay. Well, again, you have a lot of sleeper, uh, sleepers in here, you know, yeah, so that's this good. This is pretty cool. So the other one was right across. So you have the kids that have their own bathroom, right, which is great. Mm -hmm. Then you shut them out and you have your own area. What I love too, what Thor does and a lot of other manufacturers is Using the tilt the tilt beds, yeah, right. And this isn't even tilted. Do you know what I'm saying? And you still have a lot of space in here. Very impressive yeah. use of space. Yeah, on gas motorhome. Yep. I like it. I like I it. I would love to see something on that wall besides the panel. Put a you picture. Know? Yeah, yeah put a picture. Good morning, Lillian. Thanks for being here. I know it's early. Didn't expect this to be a a hop and live because it's. Still it very early. early. It is very early. All righty. I think we're good. The police are here. She just looked into the RV. Like I wonder if they're the searching for somebody. Probably buy one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so we have a ton of videos coming out from this show. Uh, also, we'll be announcing the winner of the Blue Eddy EV70 this week sometime, this week. So, so stay tuned. If you didn't enter, 
It's too late. You have to wait for the next one, unfortunately. But yes, there will be one lucky winner of that EB70. Like I said, you want to make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell because we have a ton of videos, information videos coming out, just a lot of stuff from this show. And just in general, because our travel is starting in a couple of weeks. And yes, yeah, we have a lot of good stuff coming up and we're going to bring you along on all of them. So thank you guys for joining us and we will see you in our next video. Take care, guys. Bye.